Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the latest version of Electra, which at the current making of this video is beta 9. And the additional steps you have to do to ensure you have all your tweaks after you jailbreak with this newest Electra. Alrighty, now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and head over to your computer. I will be doing this on a Windows computer, uh, but you can also do this part on a Mac computer. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to this website. I'm going to have it in the link in the description. Go ahead and download this IPA file for Electra. Now you're also going to want to download City Impactor, which I will also have this link in the description. Uh, pretty much this is what you're going to be using to install the IPA on your iPhone. Go ahead and click Windows, Mac, whatever uh, iOS you have, or whatever version you have, and I'm going to go ahead and download it for me. Now once you have this open, you want to go ahead and make a folder on your desktop. Go ahead and name it uh, City Impactor. Now go ahead and drag these files into there, and just drop it right into that folder. Alright, next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the folder that is City Impactor, and then go ahead and open the Impactor application. Now it's going to ask you for auto, um, updates automatically, just go ahead and select whatever preference you like. And then you're going to have this window right here. Alright, then once you have the application open, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and plug in your iOS device. And it's going to ask you on your device to trust this computer. Go ahead and, go ahead and click trust, and then type in your password. And then it should pop up with a question mark. Go ahead and just remove it again and plug it right back in. And now it should say, you know, whoever's iPhone, you know, your name, iPhone, whatever. Once you have, once it does not say the question mark anymore, you know you've done it successfully. Alrighty, once your iOS device has successfully been recognized, go ahead and grab the Electro 9 Beta and go ahead and slide it right over impactor now it's going to ask for your email and password you're going to go ahead and enter your email and password for your itunes and then it should successfully install beta 9 of electra on your ios device now the next thing you want to do after you have electra installed is what you want to do is go down to your ssh client which for me i have cyberduck this link will be in the description below and you want to go ahead and connect to your device if you do not know how to go connect to your device uh, i do have another video on that in the description below but once you're connected to your device, before you even start to re-jailbreak your device with Electra, you want to do this step before or else your tweaks will be lost. So once you have ssh into your device, go ahead and go to Bootstrap from the main folder, go down to Library, and then what you want to do is back up all these folders, go ahead and just download them. Download them to anywhere, on your desktop, it doesn't matter. You want to keep these as a backup just in case because Electra is going to erase all the tweaks you have in your folders once this beta 9 starts jailbreaking your phone. So you don't want to lose all your tweaks. You want to go ahead and back them up like we're doing here. Alrighty, once it has successfully transferred over, what you want to do is go ahead and just leave this be and we're going to go ahead and go to our iOS device. Alrighty, now that we went ahead and backed up all of our files, we can go ahead and re-jailbreak our phone with Electra. So you want to go ahead and click on Electra, go ahead and click Jailbreak, and it should jailbreak your device just as normally as it was before. Alright, now that you've successfully jailbroken your device with Electra, you're going to notice that none of your tweaks are there. So that's why I said back up all your stuff, because it's going to go ahead and delete all those tweaks. So now what you want to do is go ahead and go back to your computer, open up your um, program again, go all the way to Bootstrap, library and then here are the folders that we did copy so i'm going to go ahead and grab the folders real quick and i'll be right back Alrighty, now that we have approached our directory where we're going to install our stuff again go ahead and locate the files that you have my files are right here for example and what you want to do is go ahead and slide those over to the same directory that we were in now it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite these or not and what you want to go ahead and do is say overwrite you know See how it says me, for me to overwrite? Go ahead and click continue. I'm not going to since I already have my stuff. But you would go ahead and click continue on anything that needs to be overwritten. And then everything else should transfer just as easily. Alright, now that we've installed everything again, you can go ahead and respring your device. And it should bring up all your tweaks once again like you had before. There you go. It's simple as that. Alright guys, and that is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you guys want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you next time.